Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how we can calculate compound interest on the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. To do this we'll be using the second function key that looks like this located here as well as the TVM or time value money keys that look like this located here the white ones and the CPT or compute key that looks like this looks like this located right up here. So we can use these functions to determine how much we'll have at the end of an investment that compounds either monthly, annually, or however we want to calculate it. So for an initial example, let's look at this. What if we had $1,000 invested for 10 years at 5% compounded monthly? How much would we end up with? Well, to solve this, we can use the time value money keys. First off, what we want to do is clear any old data to make sure we don't mix up or overwrite anything. To do that, we go second FV, and you see the second function there is clear TVM. So we press that, and there we go. We're now ready to enter our new data. So the question was, what is 1,000 invested for 10 years at 5% compounded monthly? The next step you can do in any order, but I like to enter it in the order of the question so as not to miss anything. So to start out, we have $1,000, and this is our PV or present value. We enter that in, and this calculator likes your initial investment to be a negative. So we'll turn that with a negative, and then press the PV key here. There we see PV equals negative 1,000. Next, invested for 10 years, so we hit 10, and then for 10 years we use N. N is how many years are you doing? There we go, N equals 10. Then we have 5% is our interest rate, so 5, and we use this I over Y key here, that's our interest rate. There we go, I over Y equals 5, and now we have compounded monthly. To get that, we go second, i over y, and first you'll see this p over y, but if we scroll down one, you get c over y. So, since it's monthly, that means we have 12 compounding periods per month, so we want to change our cy to 12, and then press enter to confirm it, and then we can clear out of here. Now, this next step isn't necessary, but I like to do it to confirm. I want to set my PMT or payments to zero. That's because we're making no additional payments after our initial investment. So PMT equals zero. Clear the screen and we've entered all our data. Now to compute this we press the CPT key here up at the top and we get our result which was our FV by pressing the FV key. It takes a minute to think, and it gives us FV, or future value, is $1,647.01. That's how much we'll end up with if we invested that $1,000 over 10 years at 5% interest compounded monthly. Let's look at another example. First, we'll clear our data set with second clear. There we go. So, for example, what if we ended up with $100 as our future value and it had been invested for one year at an interest rate of 5% compounding quarterly. For quarterly, there we go. Now we can compute this, and we can see what our present value or initial investment was. And we see we initially invested, to get that $100, $95.15. 
All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.